Well, my own estimate of one in 30,000 or one in 50,000 people. How many people have visual snow? Well, I guess we're about to find out. With repeated exposure, more and more people were, well, say, creeping out of the woodwork, but that's not quite the case. I think once we started telling people that we were investigating visual snow, there were so many people putting their hands in the air and saying, yeah, me too. And a lot of people who actually didn't know that what they were seeing wasn't what most of the world sees. So we could be looking at a fairly rare phenomenon or an incredibly common phenomenon. Honestly, I don't know uh, how many people have visual snow, and I think it'd be very difficult to estimate that at this point in time. If I had access to the data, I could make some pretty decent um, estimates. But unfortunately, uh, most of the people with visual snow seem to be either misdiagnosed or kind of get the runaround in the medical community. They get passed from you know one doctor to another without any clear diagnosis. So because visual snow as a, as a, a recognized condition or a, a rapidly growing in terms of recognition condition, um, because visual snow is becoming recognized now, I'm hoping in the near future we'll have a much better assessment as to the number of people that actually have visual snow. But I would say it's, it would be very hard to estimate at this point in time simply because we don't have uh, enough data and we don't have enough um, awareness in the medical community in order to properly diagnose people with visual snow. Visual snow has been considered to be rare. Um, in reality, that's not the case. In my practice, I would see between one and two patients a month, okay, and that's solo practice, and I don't see patients every day of the week. Uh, and it was very interesting that although the, the formal statistics suggest it's uh, less than one thousandth the frequency of something like migraine, uh, after we published our original paper, I received uh, more than a thousand emails from from patients uh, worldwide that wanted more information, etc. Uh, I, I think it's much more common than, uh, than indicated. Um, an estimate of international numbers would not be possible. Um, if we say that I probably see the majority of patients with visual snow uh, in a structured sense uh, in Melbourne, that would mean I see about 30 a month. And when I say I see the majority, um, what I really mean is I see more than anybody else. But there's uh, around about uh, 200 neurologists in, in Melbourne and about 300 ophthalmologists, all of whom will see a few a year. So if you take a population of four and a half million and say that there's probably somewhere between 200 and 500 a year presenting, uh, that's more common than something like multiple sclerosis. A lot of patients don't complain of it uh, and aren't aware of it until it's brought to their attention, but there are patients uh, in that group, and they're the ones that largely present, uh, who are actually quite afflicted by it and uh, probably also afflicted by being told that they're crazy, which is unfair. I think the knowledge is just coming out. I personally believe now, you know, I've been to 40 different countries all over the world. I, I've taught medicine and surgery in many of these countries and, and, and I personally believe it's much widespread than we actually know it to be. I think that the key thing is knowledge. A lot of doctors, number one, okay, but also patients just don't know what visual snow is. And, uh, and so I think that once the word gets out, people are more aware then I think we'll find out that it's much more prevalent than we think. Right now it's considered by many to be an uncommon or rare condition. I don't think it's rare or uncommon at all. I think the, the thing that's uncommon is a lack of knowledge about it. We don't know how common visual snow is. I'm very often struck when I talk to someone about it. I've had people work for me, trainees, neurology trainees work for me. And when we describe it, they look at you, they look at me and say, oh, well, I've got that. So it's, it's extraordinary, I think, um, sometimes how people don't even notice that they have the problem. And so we don't really know how common the problem is uh, in the population. To find out how many people there are in the po population with visual snow requires a population-based study. The only practical way of doing that in the 21st century is a, techni is a, a technical way, is an online way. And I think that the sort of thing we're doing, um, the sort of online things that have happened in the last five years have really started to draw people's awareness. Now how we can 
turn that back and estimate it in the population is going to be a challenge. But I think, I think it's not beyond the wit of man um, to use uh, an IT base, to use a, a, you might say, a crowd IT base to try and understand how common this problem is.